Hey everyone, here is Kathy and in this Photoshop tutorial I want to show you how you can create your own new uh, YouTube design layout and that's very easy um, and we have finished in some seconds joke. No, it's true. Well, I will put the PSD, the Photoshop files in a folder and you can download it. The link is in the description. There will be our normal download, uh, normal layout and the YouTube partner layout. I hope you enjoy it and please thumbs up and comment what you like about the new or don't like about the new layout. Okay, let's get started. So first open your Photoshop and then go to File, New. Create a new document, it's worth 2000 or you can make it wider and then you can use the height of 1000. 700 click OK so when we have that I will go and make my background okay next I will choose uh, my gradient tool and make a gradient well I already have it here on my list but do what you want so maybe like this and then I will choose our pattern pattern so pattern overlay, go to layer styles and then pattern overlay and I will choose what I will choose, I don't know. So maybe I have this background like this. This is a Spider-Man pattern, it's in the description too. Next go and create a new layer. Go and fill this layer with color you like. I choose black. Then go to edit, transform and scale and next you need to look for the numbers you go and drag it from the top to 25 so maybe like that and then you go from the left to 493 so it should be somewhere here go and zoom in like this here then zoom out and go with your right to 1000 505 should be somewhere here so like that and then you are finished go and hit enter to confirm to apply it now you have all this black is your content background so don't care about this we only need the sides so you can go now and like do what you like go and maybe write on the top something so maybe like this here here on the top I made a very small example of the text but it's very small on your channel so but that's the main new layout I hope you like in this tutorial and I hope I see you by my next tutorial bye